speaker, my favorite, I don't know whether to call it a PA speaker or a PA system because it's, it's both, the QSC K8. I'm really excited about it. I've been performing uh, ever since 1979. I, used to, I did 250 shows a year for 17 years straight using all kinds of PA systems. And this is the one I'm more excited about than I've ever been. It's fantastic and I'm about to tell you why. Okay, let me show you the back of this here and I'll show you some of the amazing things. Um, for example, the quality of this is just so amazing. That's what I love about it. It's like a Mercedes Benz. You see all the wonderful little touches that other companies don't think of and that, and that are really fantastic. Just the quality of materials and the, the weight and the feel is, uh, is obvious that it's quality. But the little things that are amazing, like instead of giving you the normal little three or four foot power cord that you always have to get an extension cord, they give you a really long uh, power cable. And the coolest thing, this has a little lock on it. I've never seen one of these with a lock, but uh, then it can't get yanked out. And you just press that button, and it pops right out. That's fantastic. It has a uh, has a fan instead of just a heat sink. It has an actual fan that's dead silent, which is wonderful. And basically, you've got your normal speaker connections, so you could use this with a mixer if you wanted to, you know, for a band, uh, and it could just be a normal powered speaker but it has two separate channels so that I can put a mic into one and a guitar into the other one. This looks like an XL, XLR, but a, a regular quarter inch guitar cable fits in there. That's where my guitar was going into, right there. Um, and you've got here, for this channel, you've got left and right RCA, so you could hook an iPod or a CD player or any kind of input source with RCA's hooked up to here and have your volume for that there. It's even got, if you put your mic into this channel, it has a vocal boost. You can have your EQ flat on the mic, or you can have a, a vocal boost, uh, which boosts certain frequencies just to make it sound slightly better, kind of like an exciter maybe. Um, and you've got low frequency um, adjust, EQ adjust too. So you can have a, a really low, low end. So that, that, that's what you heard with my acoustic guitar. Uh, my acoustic guitar doesn't even have any EQ adjustment on it. It's just a pickup inside the guitar with no adjustment. And it sounded that good just by turning on this deep, deep switch, they call it, uh, which gives you just a big boost, probably right around 80 or 100 hertz, uh, exactly where you want for the low end of a guitar. And it sounds better for, uh, for uh, voice as well when I have the speaker turned around. Um, and uh, also a setting for an external subwoofer like the, uh, the K-Series Sub, which is another incredible speaker. Um, but here's your, here's your outputs to run to other speakers. And there's even a post-game line out, which is useful for certain situations. Um, it's got a couple of very cool things, like a standby mode to save power. If you have this sitting for longer than five minutes without a signal going through it, it goes into standby mode and uh, comes right back on when you need it to, no problem. And it even has uh, remote gain. So you could, have, you could have 10 of these all installed or in all different directions and control and remotely control the volume on all of them, which is really cool. And even the finer points that they put on this are amazing. The little red LED on the front, I'll show you that real quick again. A uh, red, I mean blue. You see the little blue light? You can even flip this switch back here. Some guys don't like to see a blue light on the front of their speaker. They think it's distracting. So you just turn it off. And then there's no blue light. Some people like the blue light. And some people want to know when they're pushing their speaker close to the point of clipping, when the compressor limiter is going to kick in. And you can set this so that that little light 
flashes when it's clipping, which is an absolutely amazing feature, really cool. And uh, there it is, the QSC K8. Now, let me, let me just say a little bit about why this is so cool for a guy like me. I, I always just play acoustic guitar and sing, one guitar and one voice. That's what I do. And it, but I'll do big performances outdoors where I need a lot of wattage because the outdoors just sucks up the volume. And sometimes I'm playing for a thousand people, but most of the time I'm playing for one or two hundred people. And once in a while, I'm even playing one song or two songs. Take a wedding, for example. There might be 50 people at the wedding in a church where it's dead silent, and I could almost do it acoustically, but it wouldn't sound as, as powerful. So normally, I'll have to get up, I'll set up my two, my two separate PA speakers, a subwoofer, a powered mixer, all of that, and a floor monitor, set all that up to do one song or two songs at a wedding maybe. And that is a hassle. I've never had another way to really do that well. And until this K8 came along. That's one of the reasons I'm so excited about this, is I can use this as an entire PA system. Right now, for example, I'm in a 400 seat theater and I could totally do this gig uh, with enough volume just from this one speaker. And I don't even need a monitor. I can stand in front of the speaker and no feedback. It's incredible. So I don't even need a monitor. I can do the gig with this. And what's great about that is now I'm going to be able to have a PA system that has like component modular flexibility that's going to make my life so much easier. And uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get two of the K10s and because of the deep switch, I don't even need a subwoofer. Two of the K10s, only very slightly bigger than this, will be my, be my mains and I can have them on either side of the stage, and then I'm gonna use this for a floor monitor, and that's all I'll need. And I can plug my unpowered mixer, little tiny mixer, into this, and that's my entire PA system. Way, way smaller than what I've been using for years and years. A, I'm gonna sound better, just because the quality of these components are gonna be the best I've ever had. So I'm gonna sound way better, but I'm also gonna have that flexibility. I can throw this in the back of my car, when I get to the gig, I can see, okay, do I need to get out all my speakers, or just one of the K10s, or just the little K8? If I'm at a wedding, and I'm only going to do one or two songs, I can set this up on the floor, so people can't even see it, and it's going to sound totally great for that one or two songs. And when I've got a big gig, I'm playing for 500, 600 people, I set up my two K10s, and put this on the floor for a monitor, or pointed in another direction if there's a, a wide stage. I have tons of flexibility with this. I've already used it uh, as a floor monitor. Absolutely fantastic. And, uh, and I've also used it for entire gigs. And uh, I'm telling you, there has been nothing like this ever up to this point. There have been things that small powered speakers for $3,000, um, but never anything. This is $650 street value. $650 speaker, it sounds absolutely incredible. It's built like a Mercedes Benz, and it's gonna allow me all that flexibility. Absolutely fantastic. The QSC K8, check it out. My name's Eric E, eric-e.com. Hope to get to play for you someday, but this is the speaker you want. If you're a singer, songwriter, and you're performing in especially coffee house type gigs, this is all you need. Hey baby, baby, don't you wanna go?